Yes, I did it. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry, I was just playing some new Super Mario Bros. But, yeah, what I want to talk about is those retro gaming elitists. Now, this is something I don't talk, say too often because... Uh, Ugh. Oh my god, it's a mess, but I blame you, cat. But yeah, I don't mention, I don't talk about, you know, the gaming. Don't mention that I'm in the retro gaming community because, you know, there's two people, two kinds of members in the retro gaming community. You know, the people that, you know, Support emulation, but also have like the official hardware. Like, take the Nintendo DS for example. Obviously, got one and a copy of New Super Mario Bros. on DS, right? There are members of the retro gaming community who have the official hardware in the game, but they and also support you know people who you know can't afford it because again. These things can go pretty for a pretty hefty price online, depending on who you buy, where you buy one, or where you want to find one. The game as well. So you know that emulation. That's what emulation is for. There's people who support it, but and also who have official hardware like me. Again, obviously, I'm for emulation. I made an entire video that was like, what, a little over an hour? Talk about why I support emulation and all that. And then there's people, there's the other type of person in the retro gaming community is the person, it's the kind of person who's like, oh, if you don't have the official hardware and software and you emulate, then you're going to jail. You know, the Nintendo fans. Specifically, especially. Essentially, what the equivalent to a Nintendo fan. If you don't buy the, a Nintendo game from Nintendo, then you're fucking. Then you're breaking the law and you deserve to go to prison. Yeah, that kind of person. That's. That kind of person. That's what we call the retro gaming elitist. This. No dickus. <laughs> And, yeah, the, the elitists are like, oh, I have the official hardware in the game, all the games. I spent such and such for this much amount of money. And if you don't do the same like I did, and you emulate, then you deserve to die. Which, you know, is something I've seen a lot of people, like, support. And say to other people, like, I've been told that, because, you know, I emulate the old Puyo Puyo games, you know, the Puyo Puyo games we never got here in North America. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just an example. No, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the DS New Super Mario Bros. Not, not, that's not to say it's not a bad... That's not to say it's a bad game. Far from it. It's not a bad game. It's not. I honestly just prefer New Super Mario Bros. Wii, personally. That's just me. But I also, you know, prefer, like... 
the old Mario games, even Super Mario World, which is absolute shit, but hey, it's got its fun factor, I'll give it that. And honestly, the level design kind of is pretty, it's much better than, you know, the level design in this game. I'm not, also not the biggest fan of Mario Kart DS. The only reason why I have it was be I have the two games is because it was two games for like I paid over eleven bucks for the two games, not complete in box, but I paid eleven bucks for them. So for two games, it's actually pretty good. Like I've seen copies of those games for like, go separately go for like seven, eight bucks out for the Japanese versions, which I have. Yeah, again, I have the Japanese versions of the game, and the Japanese versions of the games go for much cheaper. And considering the DS is region free, you can play the PAL, PAL Japanese or English versions of any DS game. Game Boy Advance, even, if you have, like, the Game Boy Advance slot, like I do. Because, again, mine's the original model. The DS Lite also had the GBA slot. But... Of course, the DSi didn't. But, yeah, you, it's region free, so you can play, like, literally any version of a DS game or Game Boy Advance game, and it'll work perfectly fine. But, this isn't, I've mentioned, I made a video about when I got the, I made a video when I got the games, so... Yeah, honestly, it's just, yeah, <laughs> I don't really have much to say about it anymore. If you just go watch that video, if you want me to hear me talk about those games and test them out on video as well. Not just on the, ori not just on the original DS, but my sister's 3DS and, a nun and on an emulator. I did, I played both games on three different ways, so, pretty cool. Yeah, the Japanese in PAL versions of DS, original DS games also work on the 3DS. So, yeah, but this isn't about, like, the hardware, this is about, you know, the people who, like, ooh, if you don't have the original hardware, you deserve to go to prison. Because you're not supporting the developers directly. If you... If you buy, like... The, a DS, again, for example, if you buy, like, a DS on, like, eBay or Amazon or in your local game store, like, Slackers or GameStop or whatever, you're not supporting Nintendo directly. Nintendo themselves don't sell these things anymore. They haven't for... 10 years, 10, 11 years, so it's like, they're not getting any of the money regardless, they're not getting any money if you fucking buy the game from somewhere else, no, you're supporting these third party sellers, if anyone, so, you, ha Nintendo themselves are gonna be making the money, so, even if you bought the things, if, again, this thing's gonna be like 20 years old the next year, like, if I bought it, if, like, an emulator came out in, like, 2004 for the DS, I, that would be one thing, because, you know, the DS would have just come out, and if there's already an emulator for the DS, then, yes, that would be an issue. But, again, almost 20 years later, Nintendo doesn't sell these things anymore. They don't sell the original DS, they don't sell DS games. It's like, fuck, they don't even sell 3DS games anymore. They don't even sell Wii U games anymore. So. Emulating a game, a console game, is like no different than, you know, fucking... Buying the hard, buying the hardware in the game from a third-party seller, like Nintendo or whatever company isn't making 
isn't selling the stuff anymore, so then they won't be profiting off of it regardless. Like, Wrecked Wizard, for example, he, ma he made a video talking about the Retro Gaming Elitist 2, saying that he once got, he shared a, like, a post of, like, a YouTube short. Where, you know, he went to, like, a flea market and this guy was, like, selling the original first God of War for the PS2 for, like, 30 bucks. No, wait, it was 40 bucks. It was 40 bucks. I mixed the numbers up. It was 40. Oh, he, the guy was charging 40 bucks, but he he charged, he said he'll give it to Wrecked Wizard for 30 and he's like, no. The first God of War is a $15 game. And the seller got pissed at him for, you know, calling him out on his bullshit. Which, on one side, yeah. The guy is planning on make, is trying to make money. That's one thing. But, again, he tried to, like, upcharge for the up charge for the game and if we go to price charting right we go to price charting and look up god of war God of War is a fucking love God of War is an eleven dollar game just for the disc itself. It's an eleven dollar game for the disc itself. A little over eleven for complete in box. So yeah, he was pretty much charging it almost four times that one guy that's trying to sell Wreck Wizard, you know, for trying to sell not just Wreck Wizard, but everybody. God of War for like 30, 40 bucks, just charging four times the price, which is an obnoxious price for a PS2 game. Again, referring back to like my previous video, I mentioned that, again, it's available on the PlayStation Store for like 15 separately. Or if you get, you know, God of War 1 and 2 together, like I did. It's 15 bucks for both of them. How much is God of War 2? God of War 2 for the disc itself is $7.06. But complete in box, it's $14.27. So yeah, digitally on the PlayStation 3 store, God... God of War 2 separately is 15 bucks. So that's pretty... That's pretty... Close. So... Yeah. If you... If you want to play... If you have like a PS3 and... You want to play like the old God of War games. Which I have on the channel. Go watch those if you want. They're on, they're on PS3 for like 15 bucks. God of War 1 and 2 are 15 bucks separately, or again, if you do get them like, together like I did, in the God of War collection, it just comes with God of War 1 and 2. It's, it's 15 bucks for them both that way. Or you can also get, you know, the God of War collection. Or whatever it's called. God of War Anthology Collection, or whatever it's called. Yeah, if you want to get God of War Saga, which comes with Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta, God of War 1, God of War 2, and God of War 3. Lose for those five games, 
$12.36, or if you want a complete inbox, that's $27.21. Or, brand new, unopened, factory sealed, $36.52, right? Of course, you can also get them on, like, PlayStation 3 as well. Like, I had, I have God of War 3 on the PS4. I had previously in, on the PS3. But, you know, I play primarily on PS4, so... Yeah, it made sense for me to get God of War 3 on the PS4. And, you know, I wanted to play the older God of War games. So, PS3, I... I paid a total of 25 under 25 bucks for the other four for God of War 1, 2, Chains of Olympus, and Ghost of Sparta. I paid under 25 bucks for all four of those digitally on the places store, by the way. So it's like, so there are again alternate methods of getting the games, but. Then there's people who are saying, Oh, no, if you don't buy it on the original PS2, then no, you're not a real fan or you're not a real member of the community. Shut the fuck up. Like, I'm playing the fucking game. You know, I'm playing the games. I I paid for the games. Fucking, I, I played for the games. I platinumed them. Um, I got the platinum trophy for them. Shut the fuck up. Like, It really hurts to see that, you know, knowing that there's people who are like, Oh, if you don't do some certain if do this thing a certain way, then you're not a real member of the community. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Toho fans, you know, the Toho community, you know. And when I mean Toho, like I am a Toho fan, sure, but I don't mean fans like me. I mean, you know, the hardcore fans are like, Oh, if you don't ship this kid ship this fictional character with this fictional character of the same gender, you're homophobic. Like, that kind of fan, Toho fan. That's what those me members of the elite, the, uh, that's what the elite, retro gaming elitists remind me of. Those kinds of Toho fans. <laughs> and I have dealt with both those kinds of people. So let me tell you. I know what it's like. It's like, who the fuck cares? Like, and they want to tell them, and these are also the same people, right? People, people enjoy how things they how they want to enjoy, and then they go turn to do a complete one eighty, and like, no, if you don't do if you don't do this and this, then you're not a real member of the community or whatever. Like, shut the fuck up. And whenever you say that to them. Which I have also done. It's like they get, they get, they start to try to cancel you, which again happened to me in the past. So it's like I know what I'm kind of talking about here. <laughs> I've experienced it before. Obviously, I haven't been canceled because here I am. But yeah, if they say that to you one day, it's. Like, whatever. But if you do that to them another day, and they get mad about it, it's like, and you tell them, hey, they were your words, not mine. I just repeat them right back to you. Because you decided to do a one, complete 180. Like, they will be pissed. Again, there are games that go for, like, hundreds of, upon thousands of dollars, even. On topic of DS, let's go. Let's look for a copy of Pokemon Heart Gold, right? Again, I'm. I have a the DS is region isn't region locked, so I could play either the PAL Japanese or English versions of a game. But I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the North American prices for like. Again, heart gold as an example. Uh, 
Do you want a Heart Gold for the DS? I'm, do you want a North American copy of Heart Gold for the DS? You're paying over a hundred fifteen dollars just for the game itself. Like for the game itself. Pre like pretend this is uh, no, no, Dotto, I don't want to watch you right now. <laughs> I'm making the video. I've talked about this before, but it's been a Or Charlie, while. not right now. <laughs> I accidentally put my Chromebook down on my controller, so, yeah. Again, back to what I was saying. Pretend this is a copy of Pokemon Heart Gold, right? This would be $115 at the minimum, just for the game itself. But... If, pretend like this is heart gold, uh, K's heart and heart gold, right? A hun pretend this is heart gold complete in box, right? You'd be paying over 145 bucks complete in box for Pokemon Heart Gold for the North American version. Or 115 just for the game itself. But if you want like the Japanese version, you're gonna be paying almost fifty-four bucks. Or for the PAL version, you're gonna be paying almost sixty. So as to why the Japanese, I mean, it makes sense that the Japanese version would be cheaper because you know there's the version that came out first. But as to why the North American versions. Over 115 bucks again, just for the game itself. I don't understand why. And of course, not everybody has that kind of money, so it's like, if you want to like play like a heart gold, and you don't have like the, it's and you can't afford it because again, not everybody can afford like the luxury of like having the original like hardware or whatever. Like, I was lucky to even get this DS when I got it. Again, special thanks to my sister for buying it for me. It was, again, it was for Christmas. It was for Christmas. For me, for Christmas this year. But she thought, gave it to me early. Because, why not? <laughs> and, yeah. I've been playing, like, a lot of Mario Kart lately on my own time. Like, God of War, like... Other than God of War, I've been playing like Mario Kart quite a bit. I unlocked Mirror Mode in Mario Kart, so yeah, that's good. But again, as I was saying, not everybody can afford the original hardware, so or especially the game itself, 115 bucks, like at a minimum. I like, no, no, I'm nobody would be fucking that dumb to spend money. But luckily, there are the like these. Off brand like DS cartridges. Again, I'm not condoning buying these things, but there are these like off brand like third party like cartridge game cartridges you can get for like Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, you know, stuff like that. That you can pay like 25 bucks for, and it's like you're playing like a, an official copy of the game. Like my sister's got. A heart, soul silver upstairs of course not like the official cartridges by nintendo themselves it's one of those like third party knockoff card game cards that you can get for like 25 bucks on like ebay or amazon it's one of those because it's strictly just soul silver it's not like those 50 or in one kind of things it was it's just soul silver itself but yeah you could get that again twenty five for like twenty five bucks, a fraction of how much you would be paying for you know, an official car copy or you know you can also emulate it. Probably. Again, don't condone buying those cards, game cards, but again, not everybody can afford like the official hardware, where and such. Which is, you know, where emulation comes in or, you know, buying those, like, knockoff game cards. 
because you no, know, it's cheaper and not everybody can afford the real official stuff. So it's like you just gotta work with what you've got. But yeah. If people and people, those kinds of people, the elitists want to tell us that we're not real members of the virtual gaming community for doing for like emulation, emulating or whatever. Like, shut up. <laughs> like the these are the same kinds of people that are like preventing newcomers to the community because it's like. They're trying to scare them off from like emulating and or whatever. It's like, and you want to tell people to enjoy things how they can enjoy things however they want, and yet you're going doing complete one eighty from that and saying, "No, you have to do it this way, or you're not doing it correctly." Like, shut the fuck up. But yeah, I honestly. It's a little past 11. My head hurts. I wasn't feeling too well. I wasn't feeling too well, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. That's why I didn't upload. Didn't... Wasn't feeling too well. I'm still not feeling the best. I'm feeling a lot better, but... My head is hurting and everything, so... Yeah, I'm gonna end it here. And... Yeah. Lotus Land Story video tomorrow. And... I'm actually about to like record that, so stay tuned for that and see you then.